Hello, we are coming to the end of Vlogmas. Nothing says end of Vlogmas like just ticking off your last minute presents that you had to get. I'm done, baby, I have all my presents. Nothing wrapped, not a thing in the house. Not a child in the house washed and not a present in the house wrapped. <laughs> As you know, I've missed a couple of Vlogmas uploads over the course of the month. As a result, I actually have quite a lot of footage to fit into these last two Vlogmases. So enjoy two bumper Vlogmases for your viewing pleasure. Alex was going to leave the house there at an unusual hour and I was like, where are you going? So I went with him. He allegedly is on his way to get me a Christmas present, which I have to get right away for some reason. I actually, now that I'm in the car and now that we're here, I think he might have been lying with Christmas present just to get me in the car. But we'll see. You would never be able to have a girlfriend. So I was like, immediately. I was like, where are you going? Where are you going? It's nine o'clock night. Where are you going? There's no tag on. I know there's no tag on. Where are you going? You would never be able. <laughs> never. Plus, you wouldn't want one. No. No. What on earth is going on? It's like a South Dublin drug deal. They're meeting in a car park to get Christmas presents. <laughs> are you going to give it to me now? Yeah. Is it filming? Is that a Christmas ornament? Yeah, to hang on the tree. That's very cute. Why? It's a unicorn. Yeah, but why did you have to get this off Kieran? That's because <laughs> he was in a shop and I was talking to him. He said, "Will I get this for you, Claire?" And I said, "Ah, yeah, that's definitely. lovely." There you are. Thank you, Kieran. So it's actually a Christmas present from Kieran. Kind of, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> First and foremost, the most exciting thing is that I went home to Mayo to see Tommy Tiernan live. Now, if you don't know Tommy Tiernan, you need to Google Tommy Tiernan. Tommy Tiernan is a very popular Irish comedian and when I was growing up in North Mayo, <laughs> it, he was the only comedian we were aware of and he was our favorite. <laughs> I will say, maybe don't look up the older stuff. <laughs> Remember, I was a teenager before you cancelled me. First off, the journey. So, you know the weather's been shite. I woke up in the morning and my friend Stacey, who was due to go back with me that day, we were planning on going all the way home, our home home, where we're from from, meet up with the girls and then head back to Castle Bar where Tommy Tiernan was performing. Stacey was like, I'm not going on them roads. And I was like, shite. <laughs> I'm going to Mayo to see Tommy Tiernan. Alex had me freaked out about the icy roads. So then I was like, ooh, is it safe? Should I go? But I hung around, it's melted a good bit. And I'm actually just gonna go straight to Castle Bar where he's playing and meet my friends there rather than try to go all the way to the back arse of where we're from and then back again to Castle Bar. That makes me the designated driver of home tonight. But there'll be three of us in the car and they know the roads well and We'll make it work. And that put me in two minds now. But I've wanted to see Tommy Tiernan my whole life. I'm 34 years old, I want to see him my whole life. I've never seen him live. So I waited a couple hours, got distracted editing a vlogmas and left way later than I intended to. But I left at 3 p.m., right? And I thought, now it's going to be thawed, all's going to be well. Wrong. The drive was horrendous. White as far as the eye could see during the daytime. So I don't know how far away I am. And I just better keep going, let's go. Because it's kind of getting dark. I didn't think it was going to get dark by five o'clock. So I just want to get fucking going. I just want to get there. It got pitch dark at 10 to five at night. And I was driving till seven. The whole thing took me four hours instead of three. Because it was just such an awful drive. And I went straight to Casper. I didn't go back beyond to where I'm actually from and back again. I went straight to Castlebar to meet the girls. Worst story of my life. I look like shite and hopefully I don't meet anyone at all. Super, 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 super excited. Too afraid to vlog here. How are you? It is raining. Let me talk you through what happened. That was the single worst fucking drive of my life. And I tell you something for nothing. Pitch dark driving is a skill and if you don't use it, you fucking lose it because I have literally not even used my full beams in Dublin since I was home last. Like, you don't need them. You, it, all the streets are lit. There was mist rolling over the foggy fucking fields. It was like something out of a horror film. And let's not forget then, at the end, that it started raining. But actually, the rain was a relief. My windscreen kept not only fogging up on the inside, which you'd expect, but on the outside, it kept like, getting dirty. 
And so I kept having to use water. And so I stopped twice to refill the water in my car. I even put in this like fucking windscreen wiper solution that's supposed to have a bit of antifreeze in it. Fell out of good that did. Especially, it obviously didn't have antifreeze in it because the fucking ducks froze. I know for a fact they were frozen because then after we came out of the gig at the end of the night and we got in the car and it had been sat in a warmer multi-storey car park for the night, they worked again. So they just froze. While I was driving the car, they fucking froze. So I was having to stop and like manually clean my window. It was awful. It was one of the worst drives. I'd say it's the single worst drive in my life. I cried while I was driving. I cried. That made me the designated driver then for the night home, but that was fine. I didn't care about that. However, on the way home, the roads were death traps. Dropping my friend Claire out to where she lives, I was literally going as slow as the car would go without conking. And I was terrified. I remember one corner, she was like, slide into this one now. <laughs> I was like, slide into it? Not worth it. Next time I will absolutely just buy tickets to see him in Dublin. We didn't bother going in in time for the support act. And so I walked in halfway through the support act and there's this guy up on stage who must be in his 50s going, gender fluid, gender fluid. It sounds funny, doesn't it? It sounds like something now that you'd you'd find in the tractor shop. Gender fluid. And I was like, oh my God, is this what we're in for for the rest of the night? Christ. But it got better from there on the bright side. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't hear the start of his joke, but I can't imagine it was great. Anyways, I didn't take a photo of Tommy Jaren. I didn't take a video of him because he reamed some young one in the front for ta for being on her phone within the first five minutes. Scared the living shite out of me. I was afraid to even take a photograph of him. So I put my phone in my bag under my chair like I didn't even have one. I said, I don't have one, I swear. <laughs> and halfway through the show as well, he like stopped. He was telling a joke about his wife and he stopped and he pointed at some young lad and he goes, are you filming me? And the young lad was like, no. And then Tommy was like, right, okay, I'm just checking because I can't be fucking telling these jokes if you're going to be fucking filming them because then my wife will see them. Which was, it was funny the way he kind of turned it into a joke. But like, Jesus, hate to cry. I was like, get that phone, get that phone away from me. Absolutely terrified he's going to read me out of it. So my phone was in my bag. So no footage, which is great for a vlog. That's great when you get no footage. It's so good. Speaking of getting no footage, it sounds like me with tag. This whole December I've been playing tag and not got a single fucking lick of footage of it. And sure, sure listen to luck. I've only been vlogging years at this point. Nobody would expect me to get any better at it. <laughs> so I'm at tag rugby and in this league it's a social league so women get three points and four points if it's in a blue box in the centre for a try. However, I'm playing on an all ladies team in a mixed league which means thanks to an Irish rule called Accelerate Her, yes it's called Accelerate Her not Accelerator, Accelerate Her, it's a pun, we get seven points per try because we have seven women on the pitch and eight in the box. So it makes for a very interesting game so hope, I'll see if I can get some footage tonight of the game. I've tried every week and forgotten to do it. <laughs> like you know me, you know me, I do this all the time so we'll see, we'll try, we'll see. I'm just going to say this here and all my friends have seen me vlogging but having a water bottle this distinctive has been super helpful it's come back to me like twice and my friend Neil slagged me and said first of all he said can you not buy anything normal that's the first thing he said and then he referred to it as the water bottle with the scrum cap on <laughs> so, so yeah my friend slagged me a lot so I can already see walking onto the pitch that we have the beginner ref that's cool that's great namaste and all that and yeah it's good to teach yourself patience do you want to be in the vlog journey? <laughs> hello Charlie. I just walked onto the pitch with boots on like as in actual like these kind of boots dumb what else what else after Tommy Tiernan I did stay at home for years I haven't said online where I'm from in Mayo but I figure that it's fine to say it because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> I'm originally from a town in North Mayo called Kalala Bay. There is a cafe there which is beautiful brand new cafe run by a local man. It is gorgeous and I wanted to take some video of it and show it to you in the hope that if you're ever in North Mayo passing through Kalala on your way to somewhere like the Cage of Fields say that you might pop in to the kiosk cafe and support the local economy of the town where I'm from from. <laughs> My home home. I don't know why I'm saying from from, that's not a thing, but home home is a thing. If you don't know, loads of country Irish people move to Dublin. I would always say I live in Dublin, but I'm from Mayo. Dublin's my home, but Mayo is my home home. Anyway, after Tommy Tune and I did stay 
in my friend's house and it was lovely to see her. Delighted for her because the last time I saw her now, I was up trying to help her wallpaper her house. And I was fucking shite at it. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing. But we're doing it anyway. We literally didn't help her at all. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> she managed to get done without us since the good for her. <laughs> also, I missed Alex loads. So I might make him come with me the next time. Also, my skin is improving thanks to Kira and her skin tips. I'm kind of getting a breakout in this area. But I feel like once we're through that. I will say my skin's looking fucking great, is it not? Not that anyone cares, but I think it looks great after all my trials and tribulations. Thank you, Kira, and everyone else that gave me advice. Tonight, I'm in the car now because I'm going to drop Alex and his mum off to separate Christmas parties. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to edit a Vlogmas. That's my Christmas party. <laughs> More importantly, I'm going to watch the rugby. Alex is now hanging out the door wondering why I'm sitting in the car talking to myself. And he has, I think he has realised the camera's on and gone back in. So yeah, I'm not going out. There was no tri-channel Christmas party this year. It's because actually we all hate each other. And no, I can't even give a straight face to, to pretend for clickbait. If you don't know the tri-channel on YouTube, search it, try channel but I was recently in a try channel video where Irish people were trying expensive alcohol versus cheap alcohol and as part of that I had Captain Morgan Spice Rum and I haven't had Captain Morgan Spice Rum in years and I'd forgotten how much I love it so last night I went and I bought a bottle of it and I bought some Coca-Cola and I'm not 100% sure which I'm going to drink now watching the rugby tonight because one or the other it's either going to be wine or it's going to be rum and coke. Depends how far I get into the vlogmas before I start watching the rugby. If I continue editing on the couch with the laptop, <laughs> probably can't be drinking rum. <laughs> because because it, it's not going to come out good. <laughs> Tomorrow's the last vlogmas of the season. It's going to be a bumper one. It's going to have footage of the first Christmas present swap of the season between myself, my friend Claire and my friend Jack. I made some of their presents, so there's going to be footage of that. Then myself and Jack, when we went to swap the presents, we went to the Hole in the Wall in Dublin, which is meant to be the most Christmassy pub in Dublin. It looked amazing. It's also Europe's longest pub. And I think I'll have to do a video solely about the Hole in the Wall at some other juncture because Jesus Christ, it was impossible to get in the place. <laughs> Tomorrow's Vlogmas is also going to have footage of myself and Alex's annual Christmas date, Christmas day out, which is why I missed yesterday's upload, because he brought me out for a day out and then got me drunk. <laughs> and yeah, it's going to have footage of that. And then we're going to break for Christmas and I'm going to take a week off and I'm going to come back in January and do Streamuary, which is where I'm going to be streaming every day in January and also going back to weekly YouTube uploads hopefully. I guess I'll say now in case tomorrow's vlog is too long and you don't make it to the end I'll say thank you so much for watching the vlogmas this year. Thank you so much for supporting my channel this year. This is my second year as a self-employed content creator. It hasn't always been easy but I've loved every minute. Even when I'm sad I'm happy. <laughs> Do you know? So that's pretty good. Patrons I have a massive bumper video coming with lots of stuff that didn't make the vlogmas videos across the course of the month if you are in a position to support me on patreon the link is down below in the description and if you're not in a position to support me on patreon and get all the extra content that i do over there i do have super thanks enabled on these videos so if you want to give me a little christmas present <laughs> <laughs> to say you've enjoyed the vlogmas no pressure if you aren't in position to do that just like the video it really helps me out or leave a comment thank you so much for watching the vlogmas this year i do have one more tomorrow don't forget see you in the next one slon slon